Greetings everyone, this is Erasmo Flores for your BUSN 258 Customer Relations course at DeVry University. Today I'm going to talk to you about good and not so good customer service. These are the areas that we will be discussing in this presentation. Please take a second to look these over. The purpose of this presentation is to examine and compare the customer service techniques and procedures of budget and enterprise car rental services. Budget Rent-A-Car was founded in Los Angeles by Morris Merkin in 1958. The business model was to appeal to those individuals that are looking for a better deal financially, hence the name Budget. Enterprise was founded in 1957 by World War II Navy veteran Jack Taylor in St. Louis, Missouri. His philosophy was to take care of your customers and your employees first and the profits will follow. Budget has seen many changes over the years from its expansion to initial public offering in 1987 to being delisted from the New York Stock Exchange in 2002 to currently operating as part of Avis Budget Group Incorporated. Enterprise, after all this time, is still privately owned by the Taylor family. Company strengths. Both companies are very profitable and growing with time and experience. They have both been around since the late 50s and are very well established globally. Budget is parented by Avis Budget Group. Budget has the best rate guarantee and the lowest prices in the industry. Budget also rents out large trucks for moving purposes. Enterprise maintains strong leadership and continuity. Enterprise is the largest car rental company in the world by way of revenue and fleet size. Enterprise pioneered the insurance replacement market by anticipating and providing customers with replacement vehicles while their own cars were in the shop. Enterprise Holdings Incorporated also owns Alamo and National Car Rental Services. Both Budget and Enterprise have established mobile application functionality. Company Weaknesses One of Budget's strengths is also a weakness in that it is basically owned by Avis Budget Group. Everything that is an opportunity for Budget is really an opportunity for Avis Budget Group. Both Budget and Enterprise must stay on the edge of new technologies. They both have to account for and deal with vehicle depreciation. Furthermore, Budget and Enterprise are reliant upon car companies to stock their fleets. Company Opportunities Budget and Enterprise are both taking advantage of innovating their businesses through advancements in technology. Budget opportunities for growth are actually Avis Budget Group opportunities. Avis Budget Group are launching new brands internationally such as Zipcar and Smile Rent. These are new ways to rent cars in which the cost and use is broken down by minute and or distance, making it easier to use or rent a car more quickly and easily. Avis Budget Group is also optimizing and streamlining the customer car rental experience, which will allow the customer to obtain a car more quickly from a designated spot, utilizing their smartphone to open the vehicle and drive away. This would essentially eliminate the customer and rental associate interaction. Avis Budget Group has also partnered with Otonomo, which utilizes artificial intelligence to receive and send real-time, up-to-the-minute driving condition information that is on the cutting edge of driving innovation. Enterprise always has the opportunity to become publicly traded. Enterprise seeks and is a college grad's top employer of college graduates for 2019. They are taking the opportunity to ensure they are employing fresh college graduates aimed at maintaining high professionalism. Enterprise is also taking the opportunity to develop a peer-to-peer -peer car share method of car rentals for shorter times and distances. One of the most interesting opportunities for both companies is the prospect of self-driving vehicles. Enterprise and budget must invest in this technology. Company threats. Budget and enterprise are the biggest threats to each other. Uber and Lyft are also threats to these businesses and definitely cut into their profits. Also, any other way that people are finding to get around, such as bikes and scooter rentals, are threats to the car rental companies. Now, like I said before, if they don't take the opportunity to invest and research about self-driving cars, what's going to happen in the future, this could, in fact, become a threat to their businesses. Time will tell. Mission, Vision, and Customer Service Policies there seems to be much more of an emphasis on the customer service and satisfaction within the core values of enterprise in comparison to budget. 
In the budget, mission, vision, and values, there is very much an emphasis on customer satisfaction. However, as mentioned before, take care of your customers and your employees first and the profits will follow is the philosophy of which enterprise was founded. Budget aims to be the low cost leader. So now let's get into the best part, my personal experience. I needed to rent a car to get to my classes this past seven weeks. I had to travel 80 plus miles to get from Victorville, California to Sherman Oaks, California and back. So I took this opportunity to compare the customer service of budget and enterprise car rental services. I reserve my rental vehicles through Costco because it is just easier that way. I go to pick up my car at budget. I walk in there and there are usually two or three people being assisted by the employees there. The budget location consists of a parking lot just larger than a full basketball court with a single trailer in the back and a canopy adjacent to the building where they wash the vehicles. Whenever I've come into the establishment, I could be standing right in the doorway to the trailer or office and no one says, hi, welcome, we will be right with you. I am only about an arm's reach from the counter. It's not a big place. Eventually, one of the budget employees says, I can help who's next over here. They don't really make small talk. They collect the appropriate information and take me out to inspect the vehicle and check the fuel level. Then they give me the keys and my contract and I leave. This whole transaction takes not longer than 20 to 30 minutes, unless there are many people that are waiting. Even so, budget is very quick when it comes to getting you in and out of your rental vehicle. The next day, I bring a fully fueled vehicle back to budget. I can park the vehicle, sit down right in front of the door, and drink a Rockstar energy drink, and no one will so much as say, hi, even though I am probably there to conduct business because I rented the vehicle the day before, and they should remember. Who knows how long I could have sat there before they said anything. Anyway, I finally let them know that I am turning the vehicle in. They take my contract packet, ask if it will be on the same card, they go and check the fuel level, and we're done. Then I go home. I rented from budget five weeks in a row, each Monday at 10 a.m. The boss, or the franchise owner, never once said anything to me. Never once, even though I saw him each time helping people just as the other employees did. After the third week, one of the female employees began to make small talk with me as I went through with my transaction, smiled, and acknowledged that I had been there before. This rapport would not last, however. The next time I came to rent for budget, she ignored me for the most part. Now mind you, she at least smiles and recognizes me more warmly than from the beginning. But for the most part, I am mostly ignored until it is my turn. Once, I returned the vehicle and I had parked it in the wrong spot. A woman that worked there drove up and scolded me and ordered me to park it elsewhere, as this was where the vehicles were parked that were ready to be given out to customers. Okay, so I was in the wrong spot. No one ever told me not to park there before, as I had already previously parked there for three weeks. They are good spots. She didn't have to bark at me. I try to be an understanding person, especially regarding cultural differences. I understand that people are just rude sometimes, without even knowing that they're doing so. They just don't know. The last time I rented from Budget, there was a new employee that assisted me. She was actually friendly, and she smiled, greeted me, and treated me well. I wanted to tell her to keep that up, but to be honest, out here, it probably would have backfired. She would have probably thought she was being too nice for some reason. Wish all the employees were more like her, though. Now, let's talk about Enterprise. Enterprise is a much larger establishment. The parking lot is about the same size as budgets, but the building actually seems more like a store. It is probably three, maybe four times the size of the budget trailer. There is actually a carport attached to this building of which they possess the capabilities to wash three cars at a time compared to the only one at budget. There are many more people here at Enterprise. People seated, people in the line, people walking around talking on the phone for some reason to discuss something about something that must have to do with renting a car from this place. The big difference is that the employees greeted me when I walked in. Hi, welcome to Enterprise. We will be right with you. We thank you for your patience. When someone says that, it is not so bad waiting. When it was my turn, I went up to the counter and the Enterprise employee introduced themselves and shook my hand. I appreciated that. He took my information and let me know that it would just be a short period of time until I would be able to get my vehicle. So I took a seat. While seated, I observed the employees and what they were doing to help customers. There was a woman and a man that came to the counter and began talking with the Enterprise employee. She was a little irritated for whatever reason. The Enterprise employee was very friendly and seemingly empathetic to their needs. 
I distinctly heard the enterprise employee say to the couple, how are we treating you? How is our customer service? The woman was irritated because of something having to do with the payment. The enterprise employee kept her calm and reassured her very well that enterprise was going to take care of her. I was impressed. The enterprise employees were all very personable and greeted every customer while ensuring to them that they would be taken care of. My time was getting short and then I let enterprise associates know that I had to leave. They got me out to my car right then and there without hesitation. I really appreciated their sense of urgency with my time. When I returned the vehicle the next day, I had to wait in line for a little while, but at least the gentleman from the day before greeted me and let me know that they would help me in just a moment. When it was my turn to turn the keys in, the enterprise employee expressed remorse that I had waited so long to simply turn in the vehicle. He was very polite, shook my hand, and asked me about my experience. I let him know that I was pleased with the experience. That was that. Some recommendations for the future. For budget, I would recommend attempting to gather employees together and just discuss how they could be more friendly with customers. As far as enterprise is concerned, I would figure out a way to get customers in and out as quickly as possible. The part of this project that was the most fun, and probably the most important, was the information that was obtained through first-hand car rental experience. Both budget and enterprise car rental companies are and will continue to be very profitable and very successful. They are both very good businesses in my opinion. I enjoy doing business with either. For the purpose of this class and this report, someone had to be good, and that made the other not so good regarding customer service. Enterprise was good and budget was not so good as far as making me feel welcome while renting a vehicle. Budget did cost less and get me in and out more quickly. However, a business cannot control how many people come to their establishment at one time. But they can control how welcome and comfortable they try to make customers feel while they are waiting. In summary, these are the areas that we have covered in this presentation. Here are my references for this project. I am Erasmo Flores, and I thank you for listening.